It's only been a few months since Rockstar Games unveiled the first gameplay trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, and yet, the hype is still infectious. Though it's confirmed to launch in 2025 for Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC, parent company Take-Two Interactive says the development team is seeking perfection when commenting on a release date. Read, don't expect it in this fiscal year. When the next trailer could drop is anyone's guess, but one thing is for sure. With over 176 million views, there's still plenty to glean from the first. Grand Theft Auto 6 is set in Leonida, a parody of Florida, and features three distinct countries. Leonard County, seemingly inspired by Boward County, Kelly County, likely based on Collier County, and Vicedale County, similar to Miami-Dade County, where Vice City is located. Though the trailer opens with a penitentiary and an introduction of Deuteragonus Lucia, it's not long before the lush site of Vice City Beach and downtown Vice City are showcased, both looking even closer to their real-life Miami versions than ever. About 19 seconds in, Florida's Everglades, where various flooded grasslands and ecosystems like Florida Bay reside, that's seemingly showcased. There is some incredibly diverse geography, but also worth noting is that three airplanes crashed in the area throughout history. Perhaps there may be some derelict planes in-game that players can discover, if not partaking in missions that involve precious landings in the region. After that, we're quickly taken back to the beach and Port Vice City, again based on Port Miami, which serves one of the United States' largest cargo ports. At about 26 seconds while speeding down the highway, a sports arena can be seen in the background, which seemingly resembles the Miami Heat's Kaseya Center, which probably means we'll see or hear more about the Vice City Heat in-game. While VCI Airport in Kelly County is visible on the overhead directions board, Catalan Boulevard is arguably more interesting. Located in Stockyard Downtown, fans theorize that it's based on Biscayne Boulevard in downtown Miami, which would place Stockyard in downtown Vice City. Catalan is used in Catalonia as its official language, though Spanish is also used, while Biscayne refers to the Basque people and their home, Basque County. Northern Basque Country has French as the predominant language, while Southern Basque Country, referred to as Spanish Basque Country, has Spanish as the predominant language. The connections are a bit tenuous, but due to Biscayne Boulevard actually existing, it's plausible. The real-world location also features some interesting sites like the retro-modern Hotel Vagabond and Freedom Tower, a 78-meter tall structure which serves as a national landmark, which means both could appear in the full game. Of course, there's also Key Biscayne, located in Miami-Dade County, in line with Catalan Boulevard being situated in Vicedale County. It's actually an island near Biscayne Bay and features Biscayne National Park and Bill Bagg's Cape Florida State Recreation Area. The latter having a museum and activities like bicycling, hiking, canoeing, kayaking, and more. Again, whether these appear or not is up in the air and dependent on Biscayne's connection to Catalan but it's not impossible considering how famous these locations are in Florida. Around 37 seconds in is a massive highway connected to various smaller islands, which are believed to be the Florida Keys, an archipelago where fishing and tourism, including activities like scuba diving, are big. Scout Key is also where the hundreds gather for stargazing and photographing the night sky. It may not be the most explosive activity in a Grand Theft Auto game, but could potentially serve as a relaxing location with a gorgeous skybox, and perhaps a place where Lucia and Jason could have some downtime. The highway connecting these is the Overseas Highway, part of US-1 and spanning a massive 113 miles. The lower left corner of the shot is believed to be the mainland, so the real-life highway may be condensed to fit the overall pacing of the exploration in-game. Of particular note is the unfinished bridge nearby, an unmistakable reference to the Bahia Honda Rail Bridge in real life. The overhead shot of Vice City at 32 seconds is impressive, showcasing the evolution of the skyline and layout from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Shortly after, we see downtown Vice City with various hotels, including Hotel Dixon in the background. Interestingly, it's theorized to be based on Hotel Victor in Ocean Drive, Miami Beach because of the name of its architect, Lawrence Murray Dixon. It's simply too convenient to be a coincidence. The Boardwalk Hotel seemingly resembles the Colony Hotel, which is much further down Ocean Drive. However, there is a possibility of it also being similar to Breakwater, mostly due to the front of the building and how its signs are arranged. It's pretty far down the line from Hotel Victor, but not as much as Colony Hotel, and the general layout of the street appears closer to the trailer. Again, it's potentially another case of Rockstar condensing locations for the sake of pacing and exploration. 
As such, there's no shortage of famous locations, but Loomis Park should also be interesting. Located right across the street, it offers a playground and fitness gear. There's room for a volleyball court and skateboarding area, allowing for some fresh in-game activities. If nothing else, it wouldn't be surprising to see a reference to Keepy Uppy Beach Ball from Grand Theft Auto Vice City, where players must continuously bounce a beach ball, for no other purpose than to see how many bounces are possible. There is so much we still don't know about Grand Theft Auto 6. Despite fans creating extensive maps, charting the various streets and corners of the state, some areas like Leonard County are complete unknowns, though it's likely that Fort Lauderdale, the famous yachting capital of the world, could appear. With Leonard County Sheriff frequently showcased throughout the trailer, Lucia and Jason may run afoul of the head honchos of the department sooner or later. Maybe they start in the county and after committing enough petty crimes, graduate to the big time, hanging out in Vice City and becoming embroiled with the criminal underworld. Time will tell, but it's exciting for fans leading up to the title's release. How the streets will compare to their real-world locations, how various non-playable characters will live out their lives and the schedules they could potentially have. All of these complex secrets, especially if Rockstar does more with the ocean this time, there's a lot to dig through. Whether you're keen on racing through the streets and causing widespread destruction, relaxing in a penthouse apartment, assuming it's an option, or traversing the world taking photographs, Grand Theft Auto 6 looks like it will be a generational experience and well worth the wait. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Vault upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.